NCPD, open up. Barry, we know you're in there. We can't help. Don't got no fucking warrant. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. We came here as colleagues. Nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No. Now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. He's not the first or the last. It's called life. What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living and stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Got another drive. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrona. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Did you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Hey! Hey, Barry! Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. Got another dry, sun-filled week. Come in your way, nice city. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V! Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. This is about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes, according to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly? Thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew was more like a grandpa to you than a friend? 
Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my Graham Grams. About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last living record of those times. Mendez is right. You gotta toughen up. Tell the world to go fuck itself. Right. So I'm just supposed to forget everything I've seen. A kid. Even Andrew. He's gone, and you're here. It's time to stop living in the past. You won't change anything by sitting here alone and wallowing in misery. I think we're done here. Suit yourself. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Talk to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. But cry out loud, Mendez. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so we stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend, a memento of his grandma. Till he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. When danger lurks, drama team will. You want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think Mendez would react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Got another dry, sun-filled peak coming your way, Night City. But soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. told you. You ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. Remember it to this day. A little kid's t-shirt. Green, with this funny yellow cat. Get in. 